fiery flasks, you'll find the quintessence of alchemy. The best potions and the most Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to... How much money are we talking about? Between what he owes our club... Bet if you want to pay... I don't think you realize who you were dealing with. So let me introduce myself. My name is De Sade. I am the Legate of the Congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the Governor. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. Damn it, they look serious. Yes, a bit too much. Listen, we don't want to get in trouble with the Governor, so take him! Yeah, if our client wants to get repaid, You'll have to make an official request. Come. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, but that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of... In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. Thank you, De Sade. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But... I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs>
Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems that the manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such order. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will... No, thank you. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. What can I pour for you? Manfred, the quartermaster of the barracks, told me about your support. And he sends you. Damn. I didn't think a legate would act in person, but I'll explain. Alcohol has been... Our suppliers in the town are constantly victims of theft. To the point I could have managed if my monthly delivery from the continent had arrived as planned. Did they give you a reason? Conservative seizure, they said. Time... And now they tell me that they can't return my goods. Can you believe it? If even customs are getting robbed... Wh huh. This is all rather suspicious. Customs Officer Alric. What can I do for Desarde, I'm the legate of them. I've been told of some issues with customs. I'm listening, Your Excellency. I was informed that customs was robbed. Yes, these thieves have quite the nerve. Since then, I've put all important things in the chest, but... I was told that a shipment from the continent bound for the tavern had been seized as a precautionary measure. Uh... Yes, we seize cargo sometimes, to verify that... Randomly? Without a prior formal... I... No, I, I don't... I suppose all entries are noted... Naturally, but I assure... Let me summarize. You have confiscated some goods, then that same cargo was stolen from you. Uh... You are either the worst customs officer I've met, or the biggest liar. In fact, it was late in the meantime. You haven't even... So I think it's... I... I'm sure the contents of this chest would be very informative. Maybe we should go to the docks to see if we could find the key that this scatterbrain has lost. So, were you satisfied with your inspection, sire? Absolutely. I found this letter in your chest. The signature on it seemed very interesting. I, I was sure I'd lost the key. I will explain, but I am trapped, and it's been like this. I am forced to pull off all kinds of tricks. Egon. Yes, sir. Uh, either I do what he says, or I... now I have no choice but to obey when he asks me to divert larger shares. Could you help me identify him? I'd like to, but I've never met him. He wrote the letter you found. I plan to put an end to this individual's activities. I hope you manage it, Your Excellency. Maybe you could come to the meeting he's... Do you think he will come in person? I don't know. I fear he'll punish me for arousing the innkeeper's suspicions. Very well. I will come. If only to avoid... Thank you, Your Excellency. I'll meet you... No offence to our new friend. I'm not sure this Egon will come in person. I'd be surprised if he'd bother moving just to lecture a small fry in his business.
Ah, oh, there you are. Yes, let's go. We have a meeting next to the... Perfect. He will serve... Be confident. I won't abandon... You should get in position. He... My friend, I'm so glad to see you. Because you owe us some explanations, don't you? I, sir, let, let me explain. I, I, I wanted to- Silence, fool. Not only have you been so clumsy with your handling that the quartermaster was informed, but in addition, you dared to plot with this legate, a noble that has already cost us dearly. Do you no longer love your children, Alric? You want us to get rid of them? Is that it? No, Mr. Egon, I beg you! Don't hurt them! I didn't have a choice! The Legard! It's a shame, Alric. Egon loved you. But we'll replace you with someone else soon enough. Someone smarter. Get rid of him. I don't want to hear from this little roach. As for me, I'm leaving for Hikmet. Try to be discreet. This Legard doesn't seem willing to let go. We're committed to protecting this man. If we're going to help him, we will probably lose track of our man. There. Yes, we have to be used.
My friend! I'm... I... Sam, but it... you know... I it's a shame, so much. We're committed to protecting this man. If we're going to help him, we will probably lose track of our man. Oh, you, my life, Your Excellency. Don't mention it. Alas, all this was useless. This man was not Egon. I'm not sure that it's a person, Your Excellency. It may be the name given to them. I don't know. But I will never be at peace until you arrest them. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. But how can I find... He said he was going back to Hikmet. Which is... I'm sorry. I have not been completely honest. I could have told you that earlier, but I knew that without your protection, the deliveries are sent to a dispensary outside the town. No doubt to avoid arousing... A dispensary? But what are they doing? I'm not sure, Your Excellency. Well, at least the fright Egon gave Auric managed to loosen his tongue. Things. So, to Hikmet, let's go! These islanders are drunk, and these guards don't look that official. I think we found where all the alcohol reserves on the island end up. This is the man we saw at the quarry. We must stop him. Bit of poison on my blade.
surrender. You are under arrest. What am I accused of? You are a high-ranking member of a criminal organization that has named itself Egon. And you did not hesitate to order a murder. So, even though the attempt failed, the gallows await you. Unless you decide to reveal everything you know. I won't say a word. I won't give you anyone. I'd rather die. If you really thought so, we would not be talking. You will be taken to New Serene. Manfred will know how to make you talk. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Was the captain we arrested transferred to you? Yes. And we began to question him. It appears that he was paid by Governor Buren. The Governor tasked him with weakening the natives as much as possible in order to muzzle the rebellion. They were trying to poison the natives with alcohol, but they needed a lot to do it. Their entire smuggling operation revolved around that. Did you contact the Governor? Yes. He sent us a letter apologizing, saying he didn't know he was dealing with criminals. His letter was accompanied by a letter of Mark to compensate the merchants who suffered in this case. Which doesn't mean that he will abandon these despicable methods. Is there any news on Egon? We're no longer certain it's even a person. Even though that name might refer to the organization, someone must be leading it. And that's who we have to stop. Alas. For now, the captain doesn't want to tell us any more. So the interrogation continues. We're waiting for answers on that point. I need your help in another case. I'm listening. The Admiral sent us a furiously worded letter. One of their ships was commandeered by our troops. They accused the San Mateus garrison. But I know Herbert is quartermaster. He's an honest man. I'm not saying that the Admiral is lying to us, but I don't understand what could have happened. Whatever the case may be, the Admiral is threatening to refuse all transportation to our men. This will not only hurt the Guard, but also all the nations that employ us. We need someone diplomatic, able to piece this whole story together. Can I count on you? Yes. I will go see Admiral Cabral and try to understand what happened.
Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible! Who would ever have believed that our excellence would have risen? Poison on my blade. Then let's go! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Now a champion of the arena. I must say, this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you.
to Sarde. What can I do for you? Manfred, the quartermaster of New Serene Garrison, told me that he'd received a letter from you. Was one of your ships hijacked by the guard? The Trident and its crew were commandeered by the San Mateus Garrison. <laughs> commandeered? We will not let ourselves be threatened by these land pirates. The Guard has no idea who it is dealing with. I have already sent several of our warships to board the Trident and release its crew. The Guards taken on board shall be given no quarter. I understand, Admiral, but Quartermaster Manfred was as surprised as you to hear this news. That's why he asked me to investigate. The Guard never gave the order for such an operation. So these mercenaries do not even know how to manage their men? Remarkable. We will not deal with the guard until Manfred cleans up his ranks. No more of these hireling thugs will set foot on my ships. The nobles will just have to do without their bodyguards. I will tell them, Admiral. And know that I am fully aware of the problems that caused this act of piracy. Not only for the guard, but for all the nations on this island. I will do everything to find those responsible. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will eagerly await your news. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. The Admiral knows that we can't do anything without the force of the Guard. By prohibiting them from transport, she is putting everyone at risk leaving us to take care of the problem. At the same time, she has something to be mad about. This is the first time in our history that anyone has dared to attack our ships. Desarde, can I do anything for you? Do you wish you were never given to the North? How could I not be regretful? I never got... Don't you have any happy memories? I do. The incredible view, the dizziness, the sensation of complete freedom. It was an unforgettable moment. I can only imagine how you felt, but it sounds amazing. It was. I wouldn't trade that memory for all the gold in the world. Thank you, Desarde. You've given me a lot to think about. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Desarde, I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? With pleasure. Let's see what adventure she has in store for us. Desarde, what can I do for you? Captain Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Did you profit from your time on land? I did, Admiral. That's why I've come to see you. You want me to entrust you with a loyalty mission? Indeed. Very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible sinking which fueled numerous rumors. We cannot let the land dwellers think we are losing the sea. 
So I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral, and with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island, not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco.
poison on my blade. Then let's go! Look, there it is. I didn't think your ships could break like this. It looks like an enormous cage. But look, it's been broken. Is this ringing any bells for anyone else? The hull was torn apart. And given the way that the wood is broken, it came from the inside. Damn it. What happened here? There are scratch marks almost everywhere on the wood, but they do not look like the marks a reef would make. The corpses are chained up. These beasts were captive. Could they have died during the sinking? I don't think so. They don't seem to have drowned. Something bigger assaulted. No effort at all. This ship was apparently carrying creatures from the island. The largest one managed to escape and made a hole in the hull as it tried to run away, just like in Serene. The sailors didn't stand a chance. The Admiral will not be satisfied with our deductions. She will want concrete proof. Let's keep searching.
the clues seem to corroborate the captain's journal. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. The Guardian who was locked up on the boat freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. Yes, and my brothers had no means of saving their lives or the ship, alas. Let's go back and explain this to the Admiral. The Captain's journal will serve as proof. Desarde, what can I do for you? Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with, we have come to give our conclusions. I'm listening. We examined the shipwreck and the surrounding area. A creature they carried on board managed to set itself free. An enormous beast. It made a hole in the hull and caused the sinking. We could only find dead bodies. Alas, I was expecting it. May the sea be their shroud. We shall not forget them. Did you find anything? The captain's journal tells the tale of the ship from their departure to the sinking. Thank you, Vasco. 
It seems that the potions of the Alliance failed us once more. And rest assured, we will never transport another one of those creatures. They are too dangerous for our ships. Our honor is safe, thanks to you. You have proven your loyalty, and you have regained my trust. What you have achieved for us all deserves to be a part of your history, Vasco. I am most grateful to you, Admiral, but I would like to request something. A request? Speak, Captain. As you know, Desarde was seaborne, despite being taken away from us. I know that you have sent me on this assignment so that I would reflect on my own condition, but I believe that you were also hoping I would manage to make the Legate want to join us, after proving to be invaluable and respectful of the norms. Perhaps it's time to officially recognize my companion's birthright. If Desarde wills it so, I would be glad to add a member to our family. It would be an honor, Admiral. Welcome amongst your own people, Desarde. I will send someone to tell the Tattooist to receive you both. Thank you, Admiral. We have come to receive our tattoos. The Admiral should have informed you. Indeed. Congratulations to you both. With whom shall I begin? It'll be better if I went before De Sarde. I'm used to it. Then take a seat, Captain. It shouldn't take long. De Sarde, we are Ink Brothers now. It's an honor, Vasco. 